Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're watching 100. This episode 12 of the fifth season. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it so far. And if you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. Speaking about links in the description, we are running our most liked character and disliked of season five. It takes 30 seconds. Your results of mine will be shown in the final episode, which is actually tomorrow, mate. We are flying through season five, and I can't wait to see obviously who everybody chooses. Thanks so much in advance for taking part. Now, last episode was interesting, a bit controversial as well but we we found out what actually went on in the dark days mate and it was cannibalism yes that is right so you know they've been reluctant to speak about obviously this time throughout the whole of the season every time it's been mentioned you know octavia's been fuming about it she's threatened to kill people and now obviously we found out what the craziness happened so it was kind of using an abby backstory obviously she's kind of overdosed um you know clark's turned up tried to help her she's asking him what's happened and then obviously we kind of got the transition into the past, uh, which kind of obviously portrayed that bit into kind of the current present position that she's in now. And it's interesting because it was her idea to Octavia to start being cannibals to help sustain their lives. You know, they was down there two years into the five year stint. And we were told that obviously they didn't have enough food protein to keep everybody alive. And the only way they could possibly do that was to start eating their own. Now, obviously, they didn't go around and start pulling people out of their beds and killing them. But what they was doing is the fighting pits. Whoever actually died in there, they would use their bodies and re-obviously distribute them to the society. And uh, at first, nobody wanted to take it. You know what I mean? Octavia was the first person to eat it. It looked disgusting. I'm not going to lie. But obviously, more and more people started to follow. Now, Kane, he didn't want to take part. And obviously, our bear, she's a doctor she knows it if 10 percent of our protein uh you know calories don't come from proteins then we are going to die we give the people the choice in the arc and then um, you know they dwindled away died and then he was pretty much useless and he, that's pretty much what she said to octavia she was like look mate if we give people a choice free will they're not going to do it by not doing it they're going to become useless they're going to deteriorate and die and then we can't benefit from obviously their dead body so to speak in giving us our own resources that we need so she started forcing it and it was crazy. Some guy didn't want to eat his brother who died the day before. And Octavia just shot him point blank. You could tell that like, he was destroying her a bit inside. Next person, next stream, she didn't want to eat it. Boom, shot. Next person, boom, shot. Before Kane obviously stood up and was like, fine, fine, fine. You know, we'll do it. I'll take it. Because Kane's kind of the key. You know, people look to him. He's in a high position of power. At first, he was reluctant. Then, obviously by force he started eating and then everybody else started following so it's very interesting i like the backstory i can't blame them for why they was choosing that and uh you know it was very good now again another interesting thing that i actually really enjoyed is that maddie stood up to clark and was saying that she's on the wrong side of the war being on mccreary's side is not better than being on octavia's side how can she still be team mccreary when she's just heard of what octavia had to do and stand up for her people and she burdened it all by herself that is so true. It's kind of changing my opinion a little bit on Octavia this season because of obviously the extreme measures she's had to take. And I really enjoyed the situation that Maddie was saying there to Clark. She was saying, look, mate, you know, all this time we've been saying Clark, um, we've been saying Octavia's the enemy, but she's had to burden all of this herself. She's had to go through it all for her people. She's done everything she could to save one crew. And is that not the same as you in Mount Weather? You had to take that whole burden yourself. Everybody was blaming one hater. She said, for all this time, you know, people have said Raven's the hero, you know, Bellamy is, um, you know, even Murphy, but it was actually you. But now, this is the first time I'm disappointed in your decisions, Clark. This is very, very good. I actually enjoyed it because Clark was the unsung hero. She made the tough decisions and she took the whole burden on herself and become the problem, so to speak, the death, um, you know, the death bringer so that all the people could survive. And that is literally Octavia here in a different position this season. And although like, I've not been a big fan of decisions, I'm kind of, you know, enjoying how it's kind of portraying out. And at the end of the episode, we've seen Kane and... Um, What's the name now? Dioza turned up to actually McCreary and was like, look, mate, they know your battle plans. Echo's got it. She's working a strategic approach, you know. You think you've got the element of surprise? You actually haven't. They've got their own weapons now. They've attacked your people. They know all the directions. They know where we're coming from. And if you want to win this war, you need to listen to us. He turned around and said, why would they listen to you? And then Kane said something like, mate, I've had to choose between the devil, I don't know, and the, and, and the red killer or something i don't even know what he said basically at the start of the episode he had to say uh they had to make a choice that was his choice in um you know in in the bunker he said the same situation here but 
that time he chose to follow Octavia. This time he has chosen to follow against her and go on Team McCreary. So I'm interested. No idea how it's going to pan out, but I'm excited to see where we go. Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. <laughs> Way too many bullets being wasted. <laughs> Yo, well, that's a beast of a gun, that. No movement in the pill boxes. Something's wrong. Echo so good. Leave the mic open until it's done. In the end, if we have to fight, the spirit will win. Jack and gonna blow Ethan up. Yeah, he's dead. Yo, they've gone flying both of them, look. Hey, that's a good start, mate. You know, I've enjoyed the start of that episode. It was proper chaotic. What what's oh we got a part one again. We love the part one and part twos. What's that say? Dam Damocles? Mate, I have no idea. I have absolutely butchered that word. I'm excited though. You know, we always get a part one and part two, whether it's at the start of the season or the end of it. And usually they're both pretty good, to be honest. They actually are pretty good. So I I'm excited. I love the good uh, part one, part twos. And, you know, they started off inflicting lots of casualties straight away. Echo understood something was wrong. People wasn't coming to attack her. They've obviously moved positions, haven't they? They know the plan. Kane's gone in, give the information with Dialza, and now it's actually working. They've got the upper ground, and that's the hard bit. Shooting up is way harder than shooting down. They've got the cover. They've got the height advantage. They can pick you off, and those weapons as well are all overpowered, aren't they? If you've just seen Octavia Bellamy go absolutely flying there, good enough to take out three or four people at once as well. So if you get a couple of them on the go, mate... You got the advantage. What's wrong, Kane? I thought this is what you wanted too. The survival of the human race. There are people out there who can help us achieve that. And I thought we were all friends now. Mm. Max Paxton. We are. It was always going to be us or them. Kane knows that too. There is only one reason you're still alive. And once she's born, you won't be. Listen to what you've done, Kane. In it. You're part of that now, Kane. It's the sound of victory. They're getting slaughtered. We made our choice. You made your choice. It's good. I like how she keeps saying it's you making the decisions, not me. The overdose was an accident. Mate, she was on... I, I don't know, man. She she was literally, like, bad, wasn't she? She just got all the pills. She was just threw them all in. Maddie. Please. What am I supposed to do? You're asking someone who sent a hundred kids to the ground to keep her own daughter from being floated. So whatever it takes then. I totally want Maddie to ascend. I really do. I won't start. Oh. <laughs> Nate's superiors. I changed the passphrase. Yes, my dear. You dominated it. Not a child anymore, Clark. Yo, that's interesting, that. Look at all those dead bodies there. But, me, is anybody else the same as me and, like, totally wants her to ascend to the top? Like, not one time have I ever thought I don't want it to happen. Like, I've always been on Maddie's side. No matter what's happened in any situation, wherever she's gone, whenever she's been taken, even when she's kind of sided with Octavia, I'm all on Maddie's side. I'm literally team Maddie all the way this season, mate. I actually am. I want a commander to rise up. I want everybody to follow it. I think Octavia needs it as well. Like I said, she's burdened all of this on her own and it's took her into these tough times all of these dead people and again i said it once i'll say it again when lexa ruled yeah she was in charge but she had 12 other people around there was 13 clans weren't there she was well they might have been 13 and her we had all these council right now it's just octavia and it would be really good in my opinion if it was madder with octavia by her side ruling two of them I wouldn't mind that. I don't understand why people don't do it often. People don't like alliances, but I actually do. I, th I think they work best, to be honest, because you can utilise the, the strengths and benefits of both sides. I don't know. I could be the only one who thinks that. But, mate, in this scenario, in this story, I want, obviously, Maddie to win over, uh, over Clark. <laughs> Pretend to be dead. We 
down comes on fire, and we'll run. I lost my weapon. We have no intel, Stark. Your intel was bad. At least we know what we're up against. This is your fault. You led them here. You burnt their farm, and you made them march. What are they doing? I just saw a starvation now. Had run me. Yeah. Dead. So much for surrender. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mate, Bellamy is right. This is not on Bellamy. He had good intel, and then obviously Kane sabotaged it. The intel that he got from Echo was great. It was fine. And this is Octavia's fault. It actually is. Whether you like her or dislike her, you've got to admit, she is the one that marched him. She's the one that destroyed the food supplies. You know what I mean? She's the one that gave him the only option, and it was here. We can still win! Like his optimism. Give me a suture kit, something for his pain. We're all out. Echo, it's Monty. Trig, Monty. Put Bellamy on. He's missing. But there's still gunfire in the gorge. It's not over yet. Guys. You don't figure something out fast. 300 people are gonna die out here. Transport ships got missiles, right? If we can get on board, take No them. way. The one thing McCurry doesn't have is a pilot. Monty says they need a leader. So let's go get them one. Bellamy's in trouble. Yes, me. Uh, yo, she's a good character. I'm glad that she's been given a lead role this season. Where's my girl, Indra, man? Oh, what are you doing? Grab a rifle. There's one right there. As soon as you pull that trigger, we're dead. Help us. Yes, Indra. Indra. Guy is hit. They won't see us behind those rocks. Yo, I'm liking how they're doing this. It's actually good. It's not obvious. You're taking the time. Why are you doing this? A week ago, you threw us in the pit. A week ago? You are a traitor. Next week, maybe again. Octavia's kind of saying that thing that I do where, like, last week you can make a decision, this week it could be different. Because last week you had information based on that current situation, and this week you have information on this situation. So last week you as an enemy of one crew. Today you come to fight and battle with one crew, so you're one of us. Next week you could be an enemy again. It could be. It's all based on decisions. You act on the present on what you see here. Right now, she's an asset or she's one of you, so you help her. You know what I mean? In a week's time, she could go against her. She could work with Dialza and then she becomes the enemy again. So, I don't know. Octavia was right on that one. Can't blame her. She's working with what she's got. And uh, you know what? I thought that guy might have died early on in the season, but now she's here. Not what to die, actually. I didn't like her when she was first introduced, but that was the same with Indra, if I'm being honest. Now Indra's one of my favourites. I'm not saying Guy is one of my favourites, but I don't mind her now. She's she's literally fine. There we go. Big decision. I'd like it if Clark's planted that. Curry said you finished. I asked her and Maddie to sleep at the church so we could talk. They're all going to get wiped out, and I told them how to do it. And I gave him the ability to. First we survive, then we get our humanity back. Who said that? Was it him that said it? Yeah, it was him. I'd give him the tablet, me. So there you go. Look at this for progression. That's it, Abbe. He's had an all right season, Abbe, to be honest. She's been annoying in certain situations. Oh. Oh, yeah, this guy. Hey, easy. Echo, let her go. I think Wong Crew will follow me into that gorge. What are you waiting for? Get that off, man. Take off the collar. Get the hell away from her. Sorry, Clark. Yes, my dear. <laughs> I mean, she's got everybody. The mic is open. Oh, Clark's been a proper asshole in the last few episodes, do you not think? Did they want from her? I don't know, but if you kill Echo, we'll never find out. Kind of bluffed that in an okay way. See what I mean, mate? How can you be on Team Clark? I don't understand. The thing is, though, the only way that I give Clark a little bit of leeway is he's acting like a parent would. Like, in real life, kids have no say, do they? You know, they think that they know the best and the, the parent thinks that they do. And it's always the parents say that outweighs the kids. No matter what the kid says, it's the parents. We're going here. No matter how much the kid says, no, they're going. They have to because the parent's doing it. And they have full-on control over it. So, like, Clark, please... That this is the best way to save Maddie's life. Every parent in real life would do a decision as well. Regardless of what their kid thinks, if the parent thinks that that's the best way, it's getting done. It could be the totally wrong way and you could be totally against it, 
but it happens, you know what I mean? And that is the only leeway I'm kind of giving Clark here. In terms of, do I believe everything that she's doing is right? No, I think it's wrong. Do I think that Maddie's doing it right? Yeah, I do. Do I think Echo? Yep. Uh, I think Echo's done really good this season. I'm glad that she's been introduced into a main character role. I'm glad that she won that fight there with Clark. It's believable. She beat Blood Rainer, didn't she? She kicked Octavia off the cliff. It was a one-on-one -on -one battle and she successfully won. She was Rowan Spy. You know what I mean? She is a true fighter. I was going to say true commander. That's Maddie, mate. Can't wait for it. So I'm excited to see where it goes, but... Yo, the last few episodes, though, Clark has been, like, she, she has been, like, proper annoying against her own people as well. Everything that every, everything that I personally believe has been beneficial for them to do, she's gone against it, which has been interesting. Abby? No, it's me, Vincent. Well, the trigger to my collar, it was in her hand when she left. I hear the battle is going well, thanks to you. Hundreds of people dead in a single day. That's quite impressive. I myself am unburdened by conscience. Excuse me, I need to get to the bridge. Most addicts fall off the wagon in the wake of personal tragedy. Whoa, mate, has he just stopped Kane loads of time? Yo, the acting was good for him. He made that death look believable. Yo, mate, Kane got stabbed about 15 times and he's next been bit. one there about cannibalism it was just life i wouldn't say it was a person what about maddie there we go kind of flame keeper it's a 12 year old command we fend for herself yes bellamy that was good i want to just stay alive guy now though i do <laughs> i'd actually do i imagine becoming a traitor in the eyes of everyone you ever cared about must suck but if it means keeping maddie safe i can live with it Or do you think those people you blew up in Mount Weather don't count because you were following orders? Those men over my shoulder have orders to kill you as soon as we stop talking. You were good for him. He was good for you too. No, he's not dead, Clark. He survived your betrayal in Polis long enough to march straight into your betrayal here. He put the flame in Maddie's head and she took it willingly. That's why Clark's annoyed me, because Clark acts like Maddie yeah. does no say on it. I thought love was weakness. Isn't that what the commanders in your head tell you? But one, I see you outside the door at Mount Weather, and then I walk away. Lexa protected her people by making she did. with the enemy, leaving Sky Crew to die. That's the same. Just like I've done here. Betraying you is her deepest regret, but I have to do this, and you have to let me. This is how we survive. But life should be about more. Oh. What? Please take the rover. Murphy and Amori have one of the sonic cannons. You have to go. I have to stop that transport ship from taking off. You're so special, Maddie. I knew it the day I met you. This time, you thought I was keeping you alive. It was you who saved me. It took a long time for her to get around to this, on it, but... What if I didn't you know. see you again? Not possible. You You're gonna win. Commander, but I'm the commander of death. <laughs> How is she going to sneak in here and get these off? Baby, stop. We're getting out of here. No, we're not. If we take me off the table, McCreary has nothing. I can't trigger a sustained jolt myself, but if you do... Buckle up, Lieutenant. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Get down. What do you care if I die? What you want? Yes. <laughs> I spell out, did you? You're not dying for me. I may never be able to fix what I broke. But I can save you. But they're all getting in a conscience here at the very end. Might get shot. My brother. My responsibility. Ah, oh, he said my sister, my responsibility, didn't he? She's got to get shot. <laughs> yes. Yes, mate. Look at that. Oh, I like how they're using the Mori as well. There we go. <laughs> oh, it created the smoke. I don't know where they've gone. Guys, still going. Keep breathing. Yes, John. To be continued, mate. I like it. Good ending, it was. Do you know what, right? Murphy's face.
I think it's a likable one, me. Like, I don't know. Like, did we replace Finn with Murphy? Is that did we decide to do that? I feel like that's what happened. I feel like he come in the show as of being supposed to be some proper dick, and then like I don't know. I don't know if everybody took to to Finn, and I don't know. I just feel like he he was brought in to kind of replace Finn, and like, I think he's done really good. Me, I like him. Every time I see him, it makes me laugh. Like he actually is just funny. Like even when he's like annoying, he's like annoying in a comical way, which is decent. And I'm actually happy that Amori was here fighting as well. Not just Echo. You know what I mean? Like, them two come, we utilised them. The only other two people that I don't think we use enough, right, is actually Monte and Harper. I feel like they are good Kiasses. She's a good fighter. Miller's in it quite a bit, to be honest, this season. He's hardcore Blood Rainer, isn't he? He's Team Octavia. And again, you know, talking about Octavia, I'm happy that at the end there, she's willing to sacrifice herself, yeah, to save people. All season, she's been willing to sacrifice everybody else to get her own little agenda pushed forward. And this time, you know, among on her son, gone through it, she's willing. I mean, the fact that she shot all of them and then she knelt down, she didn't have to. She could have just ran and hit behind a rock again. You don't have to, you know what I mean, accept surrender there. But it was good. I like it. And she accepted that she was the one that broke one crew. She is the one that broke it. I don't care what anybody says. She could be your favourite character. Decisions that we've seen throughout the season. Do you know what I mean? Like, reluctant to listen, not accepting anybody else's proposals, you know, determined to go and march on here, take it down the eye, so to speak, but then take it down your own um, your own food supply, not listening to anybody. Do you know what I mean? My way is the right way. If you, what, what does she say now? Because I take the piss out of it all the time, and I always get it wrong. Yeah, she says something. She was even saying it then. You know, if you are not one crew, you are the enemy of one crew. Consistent, me. I'll give it to you. I love the consistency. To me, consistency is key. As long as you're consistent with a character building or with a storyline, I'm all for it, and it's good. She's been like that throughout the whole season. I was saying that I was never a really big fan of Gaia. To be honest, this season, she kind of helped me turn it around a little bit. She's not been bad. She's done the job well. She's been the flame keeper. She's tried it. She's tried to protect Madhead. Do you know what I mean? Doing whatever it takes, even willing to fight in the pit. You know what I mean? She was going to die here. Good stuff. It actually is. Consistency in a character's progression is what I like to see. And I like how Bellamy said, my sister, my responsibility. And she's turned around and said, my brother, my responsibility. Good stuff again. Now, the only thing is... Like, I'm not against Clark now turning to, like, be on their side because it is the right side to be on, in my personal opinion. But, like, it just annoys me how, like, two seconds before she turned, she was hardcore against it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, like... I, I don't mind sl slow progression of, like, this, uh, people realising, oh, I'm on the wrong side, actually. Yeah, do you know what? I think I should change. Like, those storylines, I'm all right with. Not, like, the fact that she's gone in, she's pointed a gun to everybody, she's got them all captured, Raven, and, um, you know, Miles, they've been taken, you know, got Echo chained up here, willing to get killed, and then, obviously, she's talking. She's all in McCreary's side. And then one little tiny bit of conversation, realising that Bellum is alive. Then, obviously, her saying that, mate, you know, she actually took the flame herself. No one forced it. She was willingly taking it. And you know that as well, that she don't want to be on your side. She's gone over and spoken to her. And then, obviously, Maddie's given her a little relay of the situation of, like, you know, basically, you're doing the same as what Lex had done. So that's how the Mount Weather, you cut a deal with the enemy. You left one crew to die. You took your own crew away. Now, obviously, you're doing that. So then what she's trying to say is, yes, she understands what you're doing and the play that you're taking to save the people. But... She needs to let you know that that is the worst decision she ever made and she regrets it, betraying the person that she loved. And that is what you're doing. Now choose. And obviously, she's chosen the right side. But it's mad how it's took this long to get there. But you got there in the end. Do you know what I mean? Storytelling, progression, you get there. Right thing at the end. Now it's going to be interesting to see how we conclude the season. Finish this episode well. Let's hope we start with good action. We started this one with action. And then, do you know what? I think it would be one of the better seasons that we've had. And that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you've not yet voted for your most liked to dislike characters of Season 5, please do because obviously the next episode is where the results are going to be shown. And obviously I want to see your guys in there as well as mine. And I can't wait to see obviously the polls because it's been a crazy season for a few characters. And I'm excited to see obviously who tops both of the charts. Now, interesting stuff. They're marching in. They had the upper hand McCreary's, didn't they? It's the same as last time. Rowan was coming in at the bottom, even though they had the numbers, you know, you had the people ascending on the rocks. It's hard to shoot up. It's easy to shoot down. Throw a grenade, shoot in, took most of them out. And um, yeah, it looks like, obviously, one crew are losing this war. 
Now, the interesting stuff is they still have the numbers, but not everybody's now behind Octavia. See her here on the battlefield. She's laid down. She's with Bellamy. She wants to get up, but every single person that is getting up, they are getting shot, taken out. Because, again, they've got numbers on the rocks. Even though, obviously, one crew have got numbers back in the, you know, wherever, back in camp. Not everybody now thinks that they could successfully win and they want to retreat and not everybody's actually supporting her. You could see it when Miller come back. Obviously, you had two conflicting people. You had the people who want to follow the commander the first time but was willing to go with Octavia because this is the option because the commander didn't recite, you know, the ritual, which is obviously what Maddie needs to do now. And then, obviously, you've got Miller, who's hardcore, one crew, uh, Octavia's side, that want to go back and get her. Now, the interesting thing is, you know, she's had to stay there and lie there with Bellamere until the next day, which um, we've obviously seen Indra and Gaia there waiting because she's injured. The good stuff that actually happened was obviously she gained a bit of a conscience herself, Octavia. Do you know what I mean? Gaia was saying last week she was willing to let me die, today you're not. And she's like, well, it's different scenarios. Do you know what I mean? It's different situations. I totally agree. I really do. But what I do like as well is that at the end, okay, she was willing to put a life on a line. And um, you know, I'm not saying that's the best thing to do, but that's a total different Octavia. That's the Octavia that we know from up until season five. Do you know what I mean? One to four, that's the Octavia. Season five, we've had a crazy one who's willing to for everybody else under the bus and it's interesting that we got to this second to last episode for it to start realizing obviously errors of her ways and the reason why obviously one crew are kind of losing and suffering casualties was her decisions as well at first in the episode when he was down there in the mud she was blaming bellamy still your intel was wrong do you know what i mean you're the reason why we die in X, Y, and Z. I totally disagree with that. I believe it's all Octavia's fault. She's the one that destroyed, obviously, a place where they could live. She's the one that's pushed her agenda. She's the one that wanted to fight and march, regardless of situations. She was sacrificing her own people, not talking about cannibalizing them, talking about, obviously, like, just putting them in front line of the war. Eggs, do you know what I mean? Worms, all of it. It is her fault. It is. And, um, you know, it doesn't make me like her less, but it is her reason. I like people that actually own up to decisions. It's like if I'm at work and I make a mistake, I'll say it was me. I don't point the finger at somebody else. Those people, finger pointers, they're the worst ones. People who own up to stuff, they get the respect. I personally, anyway, people who work underneath me, if they make an error and do something wrong, if they come to me and say, shit, mate, I've fucking messed up. I've done, you know what I mean? I tried doing this. I, I, it's wrong. I've wasted time. i be like, sound, no worries. Guess what? I like it. I respect it. You come to me. You've told me that you've done something. It was an error. You've actually... Um, you know, you've actually owned up to a mistake and then, um, you know, let's hope we don't make it again. That's the thing. It's about doing a mistake, accepting it, acknowledging it, going forward and rectifying it. Let's not make those again. Not point it. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's yours, Bellamy. You're the reason. You and Echo are the reason why we're all dead. You know, you give us bad intel. No, Octavia. You're the reason. And now you finally realise that. And this is where, obviously, hopefully we get season four and below Octavia back coming into the final episode and forward. Again, Clark's an interesting one. She's annoyed me. She had to the eyes all season. I've not really been on her side, to be honest. I've all been Team Madde. I wanted to ascend. I wanted to recite, obviously, the ritual. I wanted to be the true commander going into the final episode. I want, obviously, one crew now. Obviously, it's falling apart to unite with, um, you know, like, with her and then go forward and attack McCreary. I want them to win. I actually do. Clark's finally obviously seen the error of her ways moving into it, but I have to see it from a side of her being a mum and trying to do what's best for her kid. And obviously she believes that going in there is going to die, X, Y, and Z. It's a bit self-explanatory, but it doesn't mean obviously you have to like it, but you can understand it. And, um, you know, I'm glad that she's finally seeing the, the light of day, to be honest. And now hopefully she goes in there and says Raven and, and, uh, and Miles, because it looks like they're going to be used now to probably arm the rockets to shoot down into, obviously, Madden and Co. And obviously Clark, if she's willing to do what she's been saying and put a life on the line to protect Madden and save her over everybody, she needs to go in there all guns blazing and stop this, obviously, uh, launch. So it's going to be exciting. Next episode is going to be great. I actually do think it's going to be really good. I can't wait to find out what happens, who wins, who dies. You know, Kane, is he dead or not, mate? He got stabbed loads of times then. It was like, bang, 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 bang. Throw on the bed, slam, slam. Give me a bit of that neck. It looks nice. And then obviously Abby's come in and obviously shocked him and killed, uh, you know, killed Vincent, which was pretty good as well. He's acting the way he was like shaking and like changing colours and that. Decent. Look like his neck was burning. So I think it's been a good acting all around, to be honest. Even Abby, to be honest, this season. Acting's been good. Again, she's another one of these characters that kind of annoyed me in situations, but, like, I've liked it at the same time. The thing is, people, I think, can get confused that you can, like, dislike somebody or, you know, like, think a character's annoying, but you can acknowledge that the story's been all right, acting's been really good, and you've liked how it's gone, and that is with Abby. 
not been a big fan of her taking the drugs and going against you know like Kane and her people and all that kind of stuff and like teaming with McCreary so that she could um you know she could get her fix and going against Raven and getting her captured you know all that stuff not a fan of it fan of her acting and making it look like it's real and she's suffering and she's shaking and she's vomiting and you know she's been in a bad way and now obviously going forward and being a mum and doing the right thing and saving Kate it's good I think it's one of Abby's better seasons to be honest if you utilize them well so yeah like I said mate can't wait for the finale hopefully you guys are excited too if you do enjoy it please smash a like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always I'll catch you in the next one cheers guys